instantly puts a smile on your face. Oh, yeah. It's Throwback Thursday, everybody. And this morning, it's all about what we loved watching on Saturday mornings. Uh, we took a poll and whittled it down to our six favorites, starting with my personal favorite. Can you recognize him? Underdog speed of lightning. Ball of thunder. Riding on a thunder. Underdog. It ran from 1964 to 1973, and it makes me smile every time I see him. Enjoy that, Underdog. too. Maybe the best song ever. I agree. Okay, moving a little ahead into the future, literally and figuratively. Yeah, our favorite space age family, the Jetsons, were the first to bring us those flying cars and glass domed houses. And the 1960s had some pretty far out ideas about how life would be in the year 2062, from how our food was made, I love that, to how we brushed our teeth. But the one thing they did get right, for sure, so far was the flat screen TV. Check <laughs> no, it out. That puts us only 40 years away from the flying car. Can't wait. All right, and that brings us to your favorite childhood cartoon, John. Bugs Bunny and Friends. Who to me, it's like, like the holy grail of cartoons, particularly when that uh, wascally wabbit was teamed up with Daffy Duck in this classic scene, both trying to talk themselves out of getting hunted by none other than Elmer Fudd. And here is something you might not know about Bugs. During World War II, the U.S. Marine Corps made him an honorary Marine Master Sergeant. Wow, they haven't done that to a lot of people in their 200 year history, deck. by the way. Not too many. <laughs> Love that one. By the time the 70s rolled around, kids were getting a little more sophisticated. That's right. The stage was set for a brand new kind of cartoon, complete with a rock and roll soundtrack, a lovable dog, and a cast of characters just about every kid could relate to. So, who were you on Scooby Doo? Well, during an unfortunate two year period in high school, I think it was like Shaggy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Looking for Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Always on the hunt. Who were you? I don't know, but somebody said Daphne, which I think is a, a compliment. There Thank you. you. Go. All right, the 80s brought us a whole new breed of cartoon characters. Ah, they were tiny, and they were cute, and they were blue. Enter the Smurfs. Believe it or not, a little-known fact about the Smurfs here for you, they weren't created in America. They were actually created in Belgium, and they first appeared in a comic strip in 1958. Really? Wow, there's Papa Smurf. And rounding out our top throwback cartoons, a lovable group of babies, wise beyond their years. 1990s, bringing us the Rugrats, Tommy Pickles, Chucky Finster, those adorable twins, Phil and Lil DeVille, who, could we ever forget that scheming little girl, Angelica? A little known fact about the Rugrats, they have their own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Do they now? They do indeed. I do remember the Rugrats pretty well. The 1990s, I was in my teens, so it wasn't like a thing that I watched regularly. But yeah, I checked it out every but now and then. But it was sure. one of those very adult cartoons that made a lot of sense no to doubt. people who weren't kids anymore. So many of these cartoons are actually way smarter. They work on so many levels. All right, it brings us to our question of the day, the Facebook question. More than 600 of you already weighed in on this. What was your favorite childhood cartoon? Ah, we've given you our answers and we want to hear yours. Now, you were telling me that you actually have a new favorite. SpongeBob SquarePants, which has been on for a while, but you know, now that I have a kid, mm -hmm. I, I sit on the couch and we watch SpongeBob a lot. I love that cartoon. And gr Alexa growing up kind of introduced you to all the new cartoons, right? Absolutely. So you know all about the, some but of the newer stuff. We are rock stuff. solid. I do, but we are rock solid in SpongeBob house. You still watch yes, SpongeBob? That, that's the one. Now, you're going to learn all your new cartoons because your baby's going to be, what, one? He's going to be one in a little while. We already do Mickey Mouse quite a lot, and Mickey Mouse and his. <laughs> Clubhouse. It's a lot of fun. You work for I Disney, still, so that's a good I, Oh, yes, I love it. I still prefer Underdog, though. <laughs>